Hi right, guys and welcome back to the channel again. Right, if you watched the previous videos you'll see I've done the uh, moisture meter um, video which will be on now. And I also said top tests. It sent us the gas leak detector as well so we've got it here. So we're going to go through it a bit and just show you a bit about it and do a little review on it. So that's it there. It's a combustible gas leak detector. PT520 A plus from top tests which again I'll have to tell you about the company absolutely spot on what a company they are um customer services you cannot fault them absolutely brilliant they sent us these two uh, this and the moisture meter speaking to them one day about it and they sent them the way here the next day absolutely brilliant quality stuff quality company and great to get on with anyway let's have a little look at it um i'm doing this one on it so bear with us open the box um get this out put the box to one side straight away nice little hard case there keeps it nice and safe so that's a handy thing to have um i'll just try and get the zip unzipped up oh. there with us again as i say one handed so girls at work so she cannot really help us right give us one minute i'll get it on there right magic guys open right let's have a look see what we've got we've got a user manual there nice user manual which I've had a little look at it already. Um, it's got QR codes there which you can scan. I think it's little videos about them and stuff like that and Facebook so you can get a little bit about the company. Uh, English, Dutch, French, Italian, and Espanol, Espanol and China. So all covered there. And then it's got all your di directions and stuff in there. Put that in there for now. Right, so that's the system itself. It's got a little charging cable because it's got its own batteries there. So just a USB charge there, which is brilliant. Now, I would say this is absolutely amazing for the air motorhome. Um, I mean, I like it with this swan neck um, bit on the top there, which means you can get into little nooks and crannies and stuff like that. I'm trying to get it out, but again, one handed. So I'll just pull that up there. Uh, it's out so that's here you've got this like swan neck bit here so you can get into all kinds of nooks and crannies and little holes and where your gas pipes might be running in the motorhome um lovely little bit of kit nice and light to use uh, but feels sturdy even though it's light it's hard nice hard plastic so if you drop it it's going to be fine but as I see it, I would, I'm, I'm going to use this every, probably every two, three weeks. Just have a quick check over in the motorhome, make sure there's no gas leaks. Um, and just to check it out. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it on, just see what happens at the moment. So, is that the button now? So turn it on. Now all it's seeing there is wait. It's doing a calibration. So it just calibrates itself, does a few checks. And then gets itself already sorry the screen's flickering a little bit there but you got a higher low heart maiden high so i imagine that's like yeah uh, to see what the detection is um and it's got your enough button um still doing the checks there so it's just calibrating itself there now we'll come back once that calibration's done right so I'll give a couple of beeps and that's the calibration done um so on the screen now we've got just a little meter uh on off button at the top and it looks like the volume button uh for the bits are now on the top as well there so you got low sensor high mid sensor and a high sensor um what a lovely bit of kit there yep definitely is right i think what we'll do um we haven't got gas in the house um so what we'll do while i let me we'll go on nip in the motor and we'll get the gas turned on and we'll just have a look to see how it actually uh make what noises it makes and how it works when it lets us uh, detect the gas so let's go and check it out right guys we're now in the motor home uh, excuse me miss um we are still just getting things sorted and getting bits and pieces done because we are planning a little bit of a journey soon. So anyway, we've got the meter here. So all we're going to do, uh, we're going to pop it over next to the gas. So these gases haven't been on. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to, 
extender swan neck which you can see there and I'm just going to put it down there where the grill is and there's nothing on there now this is a it should be an audio and visual one so inside there right nothing at all coming out of there at all. so pop it in the oven along the back where the gas comes out in the oven like everything seems fine now but how do I know so what we're gonna do we're gonna just switch the gas on for a second there let's have a look so we're gonna put that back gas on just for a second we're not gonna ignite or anything like that and the meter's gone absolutely mad there as you can see audible and the, as I'm moving away the gas is getting less and less so there you go it's all died down now so that gas is all evaporated now um, you can see how it works so it's audible and and a visual on there now so that was on the high settings um, I'm going to put the gas on just a little bit more move that to one side for now um, I changed the you need that going mad now guys I've just put the gas on the front there and it's detecting the gas now it's just eased off it a little bit there now so as you can see audible and there you go so that's detecting that gas again there so ideally I would check it once every two weeks or something just go through your motor home have a check about just double check make sure there's anything um, let's go slightly on anything like that just to be on the safe side but what a cracking bit of stuff for the motor home and for your safety and it could save somebody's life these things right let's just stare uh, I'm just going to take it down towards the fire now because we'll just double check around the fire good thing about this again heard in the top of that on the back of the fire it's not showing anything it's not making any sounds anything there again under the bottom of the fire it's all fine and up the back where all the pipe work is yep so that's right on the pipes there at the back there and all that no problem whatsoever Right, let's have a check across here. Under this seat, we've got a boil under this seat, so I can get that in, and I don't have to lift all the seats off and everything there, and push it right to the back. I can get right up against all the pipe works. Have a look. And everything's fine there as well. Let's move it about a bit, double check. And it's all good. As you can see, nothing's shown on there. No noises that's all good last thing we'll go and check we'll go outside and we'll check around the gas bottle right guys you can see the bottles in here so let's get round now the gas is on all around there all around the pipe work no problems whatsoever not showing up anything everything's all nice and sealed everything's doing well good you can maybe pop in the back around the back of that one And it's all good right guys back in the house now absolutely freezing out there it was so as you can see what a cracking bit of kit lovely box great instructions rechargeable it's got its own battery in usb chargeable so I'll put that over there um let's just have a look at the box there uh let's see a combustible gas leak detector pt 520 a from top test um it's on the back there so easy to read screen which yes it is brilliant it's rechargeable which we just see is low mid and high sensitivity that's for detecting the gas leaks uh 50 to one ten thousand particles per minute i think that is so that's sort of how quick it works sort of thing i think low battery indicator 10 minute auto off so it'll turn itself off to save your battery when you're not being using visual and audio alerts which we're seeing and you can press to mute the button as well there so all in all what an absolutely cracking bit of kit um 
and again the company I cannot recommend them any higher highly uh, top test absolutely brilliant company yes there's other things on the market but I don't think you'll get something as good as this I think um, for using in your motorhome using in your home just for safety reasons as an amateur and not a, like a professional you can check but also if you're a professional I think it'll be absolutely brilliant for gas lads and stuff like that if they're working on people's stuff and gas boiler fitters and stuff like that absolutely outstanding bit of kit now I'll leave links in the below for the kit itself there's also I think uh, a discount code there so if you click on the codes uh, the links and the, the discount codes will be there if you're interested in it and I would highly recommend getting one for your motorhome even if it's just peace of mind check it out for a year and you will ask the burns and everything go away give it a quick check make sure there's no gas leaks or anything sorted absolutely spot on top test thanks very much you've got quality stuff you've got a quality company second and on highly recommendable what a great bit of kit thanks everybody cheers for watching all the links below for the company and the gear check them out the moisture milk link uh, make the links will be there as well so give them all a check out if you're interested give them a click and you'll get your discount as well thanks now cheers everybody see you all soon